Hello students, today we are going to learn a new chapter of your honeycomb, The Ashes That Made Trees Bloom, written by William Elliot Griffiths. This chapter is about a story of a Japanese couple. It is a Japanese tale telling about about how an old couple were very kind to the animal and how animal responded to them and made them rich but they have given us the message also that never to be greedy in any situation of your life so the whole chapter will be revolving around it so let's know more about but feel going to know about the author first William Lord Griffiths, 1928, he died and he was born in 1843, September 17. He was an American Orientalist, minister, lecturer and a prophetic author. Before I go further with this chapter, students, I would like to give you one vocabulary that means the meaning of the difficult words. Here are some difficult words for you that you can learn and you can enhance your vocabulary skills. The introduction of the chapter is telling about that there was a Japanese old couple who was having one pet dog. The name of the dog was Moko. This couple was very kind and very hard working. So this Japanese tale is very interesting telling about how we have to be kind to the animals and how animals will be more kind to us. So I'll start the chapter with this slide that once there lived an old couple. They had a pet dog. They had no child. They loved the dog as if it was their baby. The Muko dog, he was very much in love with that couple. The kind couple, they fed the dog with their own forks, in fact, which is very uh, weird, you might have found out, but the love you can see. But in return, the dog also loved them much. The old man was a farmer, you can see in that slide. Every morning, Muko followed him to his fields. Every morning, Muko followed his and to the field, a heron walked into the footsteps of old couple to pick the worms, like his master. The dog also never harmed the bird. One day, the dog put his paws against the old man's leg and tried to get his attention. He motioned with his head to spot that thing. But the dog, he really tried. Here in this, you can see that this is a dog, Muko, who was trying to get the attention and he was trying to play with that master also. Anyhow, he managed and he went with Muko where he wanted to go. The old man and pet, they all got there on the spot and Muko started scratching. And the old man was very much, I mean he was very much excited to know that where he was scratching when he actually dug that ground he found so much of gold he was so surprised so the old couple they got rich they became rich and gave a feast to the friends feast means a party a food kind of that they have given a good party to their friends and helped their poor neighbors in the same village there lived a wicked man and his wife they bought they brought that dog into their garden and they set before him good food. But the dog was not afraid. He neither ate nor moved. They dragged the dog out of the doors 
and walked with him they find their a pine tree the dog dog he knew what he has to do he start scratching the he start scratching that that the pile that that spot right and but what happened nothing happened in that case but the worms that these insects they get out with that thing they really got so bad and he really felt so bad that how he can do so to us he got so angry that that wicked couple that that man he killed the dog to the death that's a really very bad thing which he did the old couple the japanese couple the they really got so sad and that old man he just sat there where he was buried and he mourned for the long time he called him many dear names if he were alive but he couldn't but one night with that man you can see in the slide this man got the dog in that dream and he got to know something new about it he was also asked to make a wood mill the incident of the dog's death reached the ears of the owner and he felt so bad about this the old man he was told to get one wooden mill he did the same thing and he that i mean he actually scratched that wood and hammered that wood he got again the coal out of it the pile of coals the old man was so happy and was so grateful to the god and also to the dog who came into his dream at that moment the envious neighbors they peeped into the window and they decided to borrow that mill very interesting turning point is there in the story now they got really so annoyed that the old couple they got that mill and tried to do something but what they were trying this time that thing did not happen that when he broke the mill the piece into the pieces it was turned into so many worms and they got so afraid but as you all know now the mill is broken but next to night again muko came into his owner's mind and he told about something more about it that what he can do so in this he told in that dream that whatever that ashes are left when he when they have uh, burned that thing they he will going to collect he should go to he should go and collect that ashes and blew that ashes to the trees and trees will bloom and in fact he will going to get some good amount of gold too so he did the same thing he collected and blew that to the tree and the tree which could never be bloom it started blooming to the surprise to the old couple when they were doing so the mayor of the city or you can say the landlord got surprised and they said how this can happen with this surprise they got so amazed and they gifted something to the old couple the old couple was so happy that with these ashes this thing can happen and these ashes can make the trees bloom when he got to know that old couple is doing so this wicked man who was trying to get it he did the same thing when the mayor was passing but what happened he when he tried to do the same thing those ashes got mixed in the air and made the mayor or you can say the landlord and the other policemen or the other soldiers very much in cuff which really made him so annoyed and what he did he actually got punishment that wicked couple the man was killed by the 
landlord and the story was all about at the end now that the old couple they live so happily merrily with too much of gold and richness all around why because they were not at all greedy they were kind so the moral of the story which comes to the end is that they used to be kind you all should be kind to the people to the animals and never be greedy in any case now here is the assignment questions for you so please kindly pause the video and write down the answers and do give it for the checking to your english teacher i really hope the chapter is very much clear to you and will going to help you to get the correct answers thank you so much for watching the video students